In this lecture, we will review what we have learned over the past seven modules of the course, how we can integrate this knowledge into teaching, and how technology can help with assessment of learning. We'll then ask technology using teachers and researchers what they see for the future of technology for English language learning. Finally, we'll consider how teachers can find their role in creating the future of English language learning with technology. Over the past seven modules, we have introduced the concepts, methods, and tools needed to develop your technological, pedagogical, English language knowledge, or TPELC for short. TPELC is the knowledge required for understanding how and why to use technology for English language teaching. TPELC combines knowledge about technology, pedagogy, and the English language in ways that are really important for teaching. But it's a big topic, so we divided it up. But English language teaching is not only about technology and language. So we introduce the key concepts about learning English that underlie the connection between technology, pedagogy, and English. In the second module, Professor Rinaldi pointed out that both incidental and intentional vocabulary are important for learning about words and how they are used. So learners can take advantage of social media and news media sites to get exposure to vocabulary in use. They can also use interactive apps and search tools to study vocabulary intentionally. In the third module, Professor Gray showed us that learners need to learn prescriptive grammatical patterns, but they also need to know how to discover patterns of language use to create their own descriptions of grammar. Students can use interactive apps to practice grammar and a corpus such as coca or coffee to make their own discoveries about grammar. In the fourth module, Professor Beckett taught us how important reading is and that we need to teach both skills for decoding the language of the text and critical reading between the lines. We looked at internet resources with abundant current reading materials on every topic. Some are adapted for English language learners to help them learn to read some provide tools for helping learners interact with the text. There is no shortage of reading material, so you can choose readings that are interesting to your students and help them develop their critical digital literacy. In the fifth module, we notice that people use technology to write many different types of texts. We saw that writing requires making language choices and conveying meaning to an audience. We also recognize the role of technology in making writing a process, providing grammatical feedback to writers, and supporting collaboration between writers. Technology transforms writing into opportunities for language learning. In the sixth module, we learned that teaching listening means teaching both top-down and bottom-up comprehension strategies. We also saw how technology helps by providing images to support top-down listening and options for learners to select and manage the audio. In the seventh module, Professor Levis emphasized the need to teach learners how to improve their fluency and accuracy to make their speech comprehensible. We saw several different technologies that can help learners by providing models of pronunciation, feedback for student practice, and tools for giving presentations. I think you are ready to use what you've learned about TPELC to create assignments that encourage students to find English language examples, to use interactive apps, and to connect and collaborate with English users. Throughout these modules, you have seen the technology assessing the students' responses and providing valuable feedback. But in the next video, we will focus specifically on the topic of assessment.